Okay, welcome to another Orbiter 2010 video. Now, in this video, we're not actually going to do any flying. This video is kind of a special case video. Um, as the title implies, I want to talk a little bit about how to make Orbiter video recordings sound good, or at least sound better than they would if you don't make any adjustments. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, switch camera views here, and I just kind of want you to notice for a moment that you can hear me very well at least you should be able to if i'm if i if i go quiet for just a couple of seconds i want you just to observe the sound that you hear so i'm going to go quiet now and when i'm quiet you can hear the air conditioning of the uh, delta glider so you know and, and it's quiet it sounds fine and when i'm speaking you probably almost don't even hear the air conditioning. It might, you know, it's in the background there, but it's not very loud. And when I'm speaking and I need to switch between translation and rotation, rotation. you know, it's fine. You can still hear me, my thought process as I'm going through my, you know, if I'm going through my flight and I'm trying to explain what it is I'm doing, the sounds of Orbiter aren't overwhelming me, the speaker. And when you watch these kinds of videos, where the person's trying to explain what it is that they're doing, that's what you want to hear above and beyond. It's good to hear some of the subtle sounds in the background, but I don't want to have to fight to hear what the person who is uh, presenting the video, I don't want to fight to hear what they're saying because I'm there to listen to them. I'm not there to listen to the sounds of the cockpit or the sounds of the air conditioning. So let me give you a comparison and I'm going to forewarn you it's going to be harder to hear me for the next few seconds but this is exactly the point of this video I want you to understand uh, people who are trying to make orbiter videos I want you to understand how hard it is to hear you when when you have your sound adjustments all kind of out of whack so let me alt tab out here and you'll notice here in the volume mixer that I've got my orbiter sounds way down here, and this is at 15%, that's where I keep it set by default. I'm going to raise that all the way up to 100% because this is how orbiter sounds, you know, from a default installation, the sounds are gonna default to 100%. Now, when I go back into orbiter, the sound of the air conditioner is going to be really loud, and the sounds of rotation translation is going to be really loud. And when I go full power on the main engines with the, excuse me, with the Delta glider, it's going to be almost impossible to pick out what it is that I'm saying. So I just want to demonstrate that so you can see sort of the before and after. So you heard the uh, before where, you know, where I had everything set how I like. Now I'm going to show you what it sounds like without any kind of adjustment. So let's uh, go back inside the uh, Delta glider. And right away, you know, I can hear it coming through my headset. The air conditioning is extremely loud, so it's already uh, quite a bit more difficult to hear me, especially if you have any kind of... Uh, hearing impediment of any kind and if I switch between rotation. translation and rotation translation. you pretty much can't hear anything I'm saying while that's happening uh, and then let's say I want to take off and get into space and I want to commentate my thought process as I'm doing that I want to tell you what I'm thinking about my heading and my aligned plane and all that so let me just try to do that so here we are with full, full power on the main and I can barely hear myself in the headset so I'm almost positive that anybody watching this video can't hear anything I'm saying, or at least it's very difficult. So I think that is a, I think that's a sufficient uh, example of, you know, what it is, what you know, what a big part of the problem is. And let me just quickly go back and bring the volume back down to 15% again. And now we're back inside, and let's say I'm doing the same thing. I'm in um, orbiter, and I want to say, all right, well, I'm going to go into space now. So going full power on the main engines and my thought process is that I'm going to go to a 43 degree heading and while I'm going to that 43 degree heading I'm going to watch the time to the node to make sure that it's decreasing and all of these types of things you can obviously hear me the speaker now the sounds uh, you can hear the sounds in the background so you know what's going on but it's not overpowering me and I think that's really important let me exit out of orbiter for just a moment because I do want to talk about and I have to close out Orbiter. I want to talk just briefly about the sound config. Which has a really annoying startup sound, and as far as I know, there's no way to get rid of that 
annoying startup sound. Maybe there is. One thing that if you're going to record Orbiter videos, one thing I think you should do is come into this sound config, which will be in your Orbiter directory, and click on this drop down, and you'll notice that there's a few options here. Orbiter comes with this really, really obnoxious, and it's actually not even Orbiter, it's Orbiter Sound, it comes with this really obnoxious MP3. And personally, I, I think it's just ridiculous, and I don't even know why it's included. But it, it is included, and by default, it's set to play on the external view. So let's, uh, let's save, let's go ahead and have that turned on and save and exit. And let's go back into Orbiter for a moment and observe what that sounds like. Um, and we'll, we'll compare the 15% sound level that I normally use, and then we'll compare that with what it sounds like when you have your Orbiter sounds up to 100%. And I think that you should go into sound config and just disable that completely. I actually do have a sound that plays in the external view on my own installation, but it's it's a space ambient sound, and it's just a very low sort of hum, and you can't even hardly hear it. But when I'm in the external view, I don't really like the quote unquote silence of space. You know, for me personally, I don't really, I don't really like that. But I but I want something that's uh, semi, you know, space like, not some silly MP3 file that's playing. So anyway when you're recording your videos and you go to the external view and you have that sound that plays you know with with the 15 percent sound level i even find it still too loud and annoying and especially when you're kind of hopping in and out between the internal view and the external view and the sound is coming in and going out it's really annoying but let's see you know how much more annoying it is when when we have the audio set to 100%. So I'm going to go back to the volume mixer, which apparently I closed out. And I'm going to raise the volume back up to 100%. So now we're here. Um, and you know, the air conditioning is very loud. And then we go to the external view. And it's like, okay, yeah, here I am trying to commentate. I'm docked at the ISS. I'm going to undock. I mean, you can't hear me. You, you can't hear anything I'm saying. And so if you're if, I, if I'm trying to make a video where I'm explaining things to people and, I'm, and I have all these loud sounds coming through the speakers and the person commentating is, is completely buried in the noise, you know, personally, I'm not even going to watch your video. I, there's been a couple videos uploaded like that. Actually, there's a lot of them uploaded like that, unfortunately. And I would love to sit and watch your video because every time I see a new video that's added to YouTube for Orbiter, I get really excited and I'm like, yeah, I want to go watch it. And then I bring up the video and the audio levels are just horrendous. And there's no way I'm going to sit there and watch. I'm not even going to watch for five minutes, let alone a 15 minute or an hour long Orbiter video where the sounds are just horrible. So definitely there's just a couple of tips for you. Uh, tip number one, again, open Orbiter. Orbiter has to be running it because when you bring up your volume mixer, you won't see Orbiter in the list if you don't have Orbiter running. So do that set the volume level for what sounds good on your system. I use 15%, but maybe 20% or 25% will sound better on your system. I don't know. So that would be the first thing. And then the second thing is to go into the uh, closeout orbiter. You have to have that closed out and go into your orbiter directory, open the sound config And send Dan Steph a note asking him to please get rid of that annoying startup sound because I it, it drives me mad. But fortunately, I don't ever have to load this. So then the second thing is to come in here and set never play MP3. And there's a few other checkboxes here. You can adjust those however you see fit. Uh, like the radar blip, I hate. So I keep that off. I keep these ambient sounds and the mock bang and some of this other stuff off. You can pause the video and look at these settings or check my FAQ because I have a screenshot of how I have my sound set up. So you can check that out as well. Then save and exit and you'll be all set. And I think if you do some of those things, uh, you will have a whole lot more uh, success with your Orbiter videos and you'll get a lot more views and people will appreciate being able to hear you. So that's going to be it for this video. Hope you found it useful. Uh, leave some comments down below or questions if you have any concerns or anything like that. And I will see you in the next video.